Hello everyone, in this video let us discuss uh, the built-in script called Generate Events. In Script Owner, there is a built-in script called Generate Events and using this built-in script, you can basically generate events that can be consumed by listeners in, uh, in Script Runner. So in Script Runner, the listeners are nothing but uh, uh, something that you would use to probably do something. So let us say whenever you create an issue or maybe whenever you update an issue, you may want to run a script. So that can also be done uh, using the workflow post functions. But uh, listeners are something that uh, will sit outside your uh, workflow. And uh, to work on the listeners, you need to go to your script listeners section and then you can write your script. And we'll discuss uh, script l listeners uh, in um, the future videos. But uh, for this particular example, for this particular built-in script, we want to understand what this uh, generate event built-in script can do for you. Now, we all know that in Jira, we have different events like uh, issue created, issue updated, issue assigned and so on. And most of these events are either triggered by the activities that you perform on your issue or maybe they are uh, triggered by post functions in your workflow. Now, for some reason, maybe you want to do some admin activity or maybe you are doing some uh, bulk updation. So if you're doing some admin activities, there may be a need to trigger these events uh, manually. Now, to trigger these events, the one option is that you can go to those issues and you can uh, probably uh, use the post function. But uh, that is a bit cumbersome because in that case, you need to you need to figure out how you can uh, trigger the event for multiple issues. But using this uh, built in script, you can simply select the event that you want to trigger. And uh, then you can uh, simply use those uh, events, uh, maybe in your listener or maybe uh, uh, somewhere else, maybe you want to send uh, a notification, for example, because you also have notification scheme that uh, actually look for these events. So if there is a need to trigger these events, you can uh, come to this built in script, and uh, you can select the event that you want to trigger. For example, maybe you have events like uh, issue created, or maybe you have your own generic event that you want to capture and do something when this event is triggered. And uh, you don't really want to trigger this event for all the issues in Jira. Maybe you have a filter that uh, is a subset of uh, some issues in a specific project. Maybe it could be a trigger or it could be an event for a specific board or a filter or maybe a project. So you can select either a filter and or, or maybe a project uh, from this list. And then you can uh, simply run this particular uh, built-in script. So let, let me first uh, preview this. So if I click on the preview, this particular uh, built-in script is telling me that uh, this issue or this built-in script will be will be operated on 25 issues from uh, filter for SSPC board, which is something that I have selected on top. And uh, you can simply run this particular uh, script to simply trigger this event. And now you can see here that uh, 25 issues uh, had had an event fired. And uh, that is it. That is basically it. You can uh, now uh, look for this particular event that you are firing here, maybe in your listener or maybe uh, uh, using your notification scheme in that particular project. So I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.